Hello everyone, today I'll be teaching how to make custom Rocket League Quick Chats with a better explanation than last time, since I missed quite a few things. So the first thing you're going to want to do is just download the auto hotkey, which is what you'll be running the uh, Quick Chat on. This can only be done on PC, it can't be done on console, sadly. When you download it, just open this right here, press yes to the administrator, and it'll come up with this. It will say install, press install and install it. Then when you're done, if you right click your desktop and press new and then auto hotkey script, this is where I mean, you're going to be putting your script and you can just name it to whatever you want. So I'll just put test test. Then when you uh, right click it, press edit script and start off by putting a pause function in it, which is just this right here. So if you loop it too many times and you need to stop it, you can and it doesn't just keep going because <laughs> I've done that before and it's not too pleasant. Uh, now you're going to put the number or letter which you want to use to start the quick chat. So for me, let's put P and then two colons, then down action and colon. So now this is where your actual script is going to be to use the quick chat. And first we'll put, oh, and let's say I already have it running. Close that out. So you're going to want to put loop, comma, then one. So it loops it once when you press that button. Then that bracket. And then send T, which opens up the chat in Rocket League. Then sleep 100, because if you don't have this here, it's going to send T and then send it instantly and then enter it, which can lag you out or sometimes even crash the game or freeze it. So now you're going to put send and then the quick chat you want to send. I'll just put hello. Uh, you suck. <laughs> then you put sleep 100 again and then send enter like that so now when you press P all right, you have to close the loop first uh, save that so when you press P it will do this and it'll loop it once if you want to loop it multiple times just change this number right here so now what this will do is basically decide so you save it you open it and now I just press P and I'll do that every single time you press it if I want to send it three times every single time I press it then you change that to three then you just press it and it will send it oh yes yeah, you have to open it first uh, can you nope so you can reopen it and now when I press P it will send it three times like that now what you can do is if you want to put two, like have two custom quick chats, then you just put, go down here, you put another number you want to use or letter. Um, so I'll put B, two colons again. Don't move this pause and don't move the action. Just start right after this. So now we copy this again, move that down, and I'll change this to you are good now we save this and open that again so now if we send P it will do that and if we send B it will do that now um, the pause function let's say you put a hundred by accident because that sometimes just happens and you need to stop it because it starts opening stuff or typing and random things then that pause function comes in handy there. So you go here, you start doing that. Now you just press nine and it will stop it. And you can change this to whatever you want to stop it. So T, Y, whatever. And what's really important is to make sure when you're done, you close out of everything. Because let's say you're typing and then you send either P or B, one of your quick chat toggles, then it's going to start sending wherever you're typing. So I press B, it just, it's going to start going like this and just repeating everywhere. So if you click down here and then you right click the H and press exit, now it's totally closed out. So now if I want, I can send those letters where I couldn't before. Not H, but yeah, it's, that should be everything. If you have any questions, comment, and I will be sure to help you out. Thanks for watching.